guys this is a golden decorative wall mirror that i just recently made and i really love the way it turned out it's got lots of shininess going on around it and it's so unique i got the inspiration to get this mirror done because of a vase that i made some time ago and this is it it's so pretty and i love the way it turned out so i decided to just use the same technique in recreating a mirror i'd like to share with you guys how i made this now let's go ahead and get started I took a board and I traced out the mirror on the board and then I got an outer circle using a compass. I carved out the board and this is what it looks like. And then I spray painted the outer parts of the board with a gold spray paint. And then I glued on a hook at the back before I even started the whole project and glued on the large 14 inch mirror and I glued on the smaller mirror in the middle. I had some leftover golden strips from this vase that I made some time ago and that's what I'm gonna be using. I will leave the link for this vase video down in the description box below. Now all I did was to take a hard poster board and cut out lines out of them and used a pair of scissors and cut them out and folded the strips into two and I cut them down and then I spray painted them gold. I started bending up the top parts of the strips but then I realized they have to be equal to make the design come out okay so then I just arranged them down and then used a ruler to hold it and as you can see there are lots of irregularities so I'm gonna be using a pair of scissors to cut it down to make sure that they're all of equal length the height of the fold at the top is about one inch and then at the bottom I just measured it to about 0.5 inches and did the same thing to make it easier for me to fold all of them I will be leaving a full list of all the items used for this project in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. When I was done with that, I started gluing down the pieces to the outer perimeters of the smaller mirror. I used just a hot glue gun, but then you can use a stronger adhesive if you like. It is the longer parts of the strips that's been folded that's glued at the outer sides of the inner mirror. The strips are being glued down directly to a mirror and before you start doing this you have to properly clean down the mirror. So now that we're done with that, this is how I'm going to be gluing down the outer parts of the strips to the back of the board. You just put a dab of glue at the tip and then raise the board a little bit and glue it at the back. Now this is why the fold that we have there is going to be really helpful because it's just going to form a unique curve or a unique bend that's going to make it easy for the strip that you folded to sit properly at the back of the board. This is what it looks like. Now I will be covering the edges, the rough edges, with diamond wrap. Now I will be cutting singular strips of the diamond wrap to cover them up. I glue the diamond wrap only at the rough edges and not on the golden strips. Now this is a fabric trim that I got from Walmart a long time ago and that's what I use to decorate and to complete the design. I left the outer parts in the inside just to form some sort of illusion at the end. Now remember we already glued our hook at the back and now I hanged it on the wall. This is what it looks like. I have to say that the turn out of this design 
came out so beautiful. I am so in love with it. It's so unique and I love the way the trim adds its own drama to the whole mirror. And you see the mirror that's right inside? Yep, that was the whole idea to form some kind of bright lighted illusion in the inside reflecting the design on the outside. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this awesome design and remember to like and share. And also remember to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 